So in my original chicken video a couple of years ago, I promised you guys I would give you periodic updates on how the chickens were doing and maybe any practices that I've changed since that original video. And so one thing I've done differently is I no longer use um, bedding in the coop. And that's because I really wanted to start taking advantage of the chicken manure and composting it for my garden. And as we all know, chicken manure is so much better than a lot of other animal manures. And you need to make sure, of course, that you are composting this um, because you never want to put fresh chicken manure on your garden plants because it will burn them. You're welcome to pause the video and read this article, but I'll also leave a link down below the video if you would like to check it out. When you properly compost your chicken manure, you're going to kill a lot of those pathogens, which are really bad. So make sure you're doing it properly. And one thing that is real interesting, too, is just how much poop chickens will produce. It's unbelievable, but they cite in here exactly how much a laying hen will produce. And as you know, that's the kind of hens that I keep. I don't keep meat birds. I just keep chickens for eggs. And so make sure, you know, a lot of you have small areas where you're keeping your chickens, even if it's just two or three, that you are not offending your neighbors by the smell of the poultry manure because it can get pretty smelly, especially when it gets wet. But that main goal here is to try to compost it so we have that beautiful brown gold that we can put in our garden and use it. Now, for example, here in my county, there is an ordinance against keeping an animal uh, that produces a lot of foul-smelling litter so make sure it is prohibited so you know just be careful here i'll show you what i'm doing it really keeps the odor down but again i only have uh, at any given time either three or seven chickens so we rotate out the small flock so i never have a whole lot of chickens to begin with but this is what we were doing originally in my little coop here, I have two small coops. I would put pine shavings and that would help absorb the odor, but it made a mess in the yard and I cleaned it out about every, um, I'd say about every three days and I would compost the pine shavings, which break down so slow. And I noticed it was really about nine parts pine shavings to about one part, the chicken poop, which is what I wanted for my garden. So I'm no longer doing it this way. I just started thinking, you know, if I'm going out to let the chickens out every morning, might as well just get in there, take out the little roost, get my little squeegee, and then just scrape out the poop. It's already kind of out in a single layer. It's not real messy, and it's not real wet, because at this time, you know, it's um, drying a little bit on this little mat that I keep in the coop. It's not wooden. It's just a little shop mat. I turned it upside down. And so I have this little compost bin that I, I think I got it free on Craigslist. Someone was moving. I always check Craigslist for things. And that's where we dump the fresh manure right there on top. Now I think you can also get these on Amazon. I'll leave a link in my storefront for you if you'd like to check it out. So basically we just put the fresh manure on top and my husband here is going to show you what it looks like underneath and this is after several months probably half a year to a year uh, what it looks like down underneath the fresh manure and it's just perfect it's just composted it has no odor whatsoever and these type of bins here um, if you can dig down into the bottom that's where you can get uh, the composted and aged manure that you want to use in your garden and in your soil mixes so um, just a really nice thing here. Just try not to get the fresh stuff if you're putting it on your pl uh, plants while they are actively growing. If you can, you can put actually fresh manure even in your garden bed if you're not going to plant in it for, maybe, you know, like six months or so. But um, this works out great for us. And so I hope this is a nice, helpful tip for you guys out there. And thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a beautiful day.